to the next segment. I am delighted to give the floor uh, to uh, the governor of Jakarta again, as we look forward to Urban 20 in 2022. Uh, welcome again, governor. Th thank you, Emilia. Uh, first of all, I'd like to play a tribute to Mayor Regi and Mayor Sala for their great leadership in making references to the continued missions of the U20 and for hosting this event during this challenging time. Uh, indeed, we all know that city have a great role in providing a livable and sustainable environment for its inhabitants since the world is urbanizing. And this is the time cities get the greatest attention. So cities in the world are facing two challenges at least. One is the COVID-19 pandemic, and two is the climate crisis that requires special attention. However, as Mayor of uh, London, uh, my friend Mayor Khan has explicitly said that we don't like the word opportunity, but indeed in every challenge, there is an opportunity to innovate and adapt to a new way of life. For example, the climate crisis has made us aware of the importance of balancing economic growth and environmental sustainability to maintain the earth temperatures rise not more than 1.5 degrees Celsius. Likewise, in the COVID-19 pandemic, it also brings a silver lining to urban lives. As movement of our populations were restricted, big cities experience clearer air, including us in Jakarta. We also witness uh, the rise of digital transformations in various sectors, as well as better awareness on the public health and on hygiene. So uh, fellow U20 city leaders, for the next U20 summits, we might be still in the recovery mode post to COVID-19 pandemic. So the world is changing and we need to adapt Therefore, I'd like to briefly introduce six interesting phenomena of the post-pandemic cities that we may need to address together in the upcoming uh, U20 Mayor Summits uh, next year. First, there is an interesting need for productive yet affordable housing. The global trend shows a rising demand to have houses that is not just able to maintain healthiness of the dwellers, but also suitable for supporting productivity, as more and more people may decide to continue working from home. So this type of housing needs need to be affordable for sure. So that's number one. Number two is the futures of property industry itself. The contributions of the property sectors in urban areas or around, around the world uh, present a decline as much as 29% by 2020. And the view of empty offices is no rare view uh, these days, including us here in Jakarta. We are seeing uh, vacancy uh, in office uh, buildings. So we have to rethink of the futures of property industries in cities across the globe. Number three, about sustainable mobility access for all. The COVID-19 pandemic and climate change has forced the city to reconsider the relationship between mobility, urban space, and health in order to ensure physical distance while meeting the travel needs of our residents. And now, you know, rising uh, questions is not about how cities provide the infrastructure for sustainable mobility, but in fact, how cities ensure equal access to sustainable mobility. So that's uh, an issue that we need to think about. Issue number four that I'd like to share here is the future of work, the loss of jobs, the emerging demands for new skills to support decarbonization. As one of these, the side effects of the pandemic, global unemployment rose by 1.1%. On the other hand, there is also an emerging demand for new skills 
uh, to support a promising green industry and digital economy. So the question is, how could cities accommodate the transformations in the labor market for a greener future? Issues number five that I'd like to share is the the price of social interactions, the long-term quarantine, the working from home can lead to quarantine fatigue and the rising of threat of online abuse as well. So how do we protect the mental health of our citizens in the urban area like what we had uh, here? And the last point is the rising of numbers of orphans. Globally, there are at least by now 4.5 million deaths due to COVID-19. This has made our children lost their primary and secondary caretakers. So how could we facilitate the futures of our children who have lost family members in the fighting of COVID-19? So looking at those six issues, this is the time to reflect. This is the time to reset. But more importantly, this is the time to act together. Because the futures of cities lies on everyone's hands. So on these special occasions, I'd like to thank for the opportunity to hold the next Urban 20 chair in 2022. Jakarta will continue uh, compiling messages on those three P, people, planet, and prosperity, and look forward to working together with all of you, uh, U20 city leaders, conveners, and partners to amplify our collective voices to the next G20 presidency of Indonesia with the theme of recover together, recover stronger. Thank you very much for your kind attentions and look forward to welcome all of you here in Jakarta. Thank you.